This is Travis, and I'm doing something completely different. I'm doing The Sims 3 survival game. Now, if you watch Kelly K. Pop in her Hunger Games, you'll have a kind of idea how this will go. Um, but I do have a few differences. And um, I'm just going to go over the rules. There's no reward or punishment, unlike um, Kelly K. Pop's videos. My version of the, what I'm calling the survival games is going to be a lot more gruesome. There's also no more leaving the lot, so I won't be allowing my sims to go around the town. Every two sim days there will be a death challenge, and the way to win the Sims 3 survival games is to survive, be the last person standing, and in death challenges someone's going to die, pretty much. After each death challenge, what, I will choose one sim at random to make a meal for the house, and it'll be the only time that the sims will be allowed to eat during the show, uh, series. And other than that, the kitchen will always be locked. And also, I will have free will on at all times, except during challenges. And I'm pretty much just going to be more of an observer. Or, I guess we'll be more observ observers than actual um, going around trying to control who wins, who loses in the challenges. So with that being said... Uh, let's meet who's going to be competing in this season of the survival games. So first we'll start with me, of course. I'm going to see daddy. But, um, this is my sim that I've made to represent me. Now, how do I feel about me going into the games? I think, I would like to say that I'm going to win, but I probably won't. I'm saying, like, um, I probably guess I'll come about fourth, maybe, if I'm lucky. But, um, yeah. If you're, if you want me to win, comment hashtag Team Darcy. Next, someone that you've seen Fatibuza? many times on Darcy Stratus is Shay, which you'll see quite often in the Darcy and Shay Fun Time show. I feel that Shay will either probably, well, I think Shay could be easily the winner of the series or could easily be the first person dead in the season. It all depends on kind of the luck of the draw. Nushki Zanzi. Another person you've seen a few times on Darcy Stratus is Kim. I feel she's kind of in the same position as Shay. Like, I could see her possibly winning it, but I could also see her being one of the first to go. Dag Dag. Danielle's definitely going to be an interesting character. Um, I'd say she'd at least make it to the halfway mark. But, um, she's kind of a wild card. I don't know how well she's going to do. Liam. I think he's probably going to die in the vending machine challenge. Just because whenever I played as him in The Sims, that's usually how he dies. So that's my personal guess at uh, how he's going to do. Gazork. Shannon. I think... I don't want to say that I hope she dies during the ranting challenge. I just think it would be very ironic if she did. Um, but I think Shannon can do fairly well. Brunard Dar. Levi is Shannon's real-life boyfriend. Um, I'd th say he's probably the biggest wild card because I absolutely have no idea how well he's going to do. And last but definitely not least is Balumi Lazixna Emerald. I think she'll she'll definitely make the top three, and I think she does have a pretty good chance of winning it. 
Oh, and I as I forgot to say, or hashtag Team Shay, hashtag Team Kim. If you want Danielle to win, hashtag Team Danielle. For Liam, hashtag Lee, Team Liam. For Shannon, hashtag Team Shannon. For Levi, hashtag Team Sh Levi. And for Emerald, hashtag Team Emerald. Now I will show you The Sims 3 Survival Games House. And this is The Sims 3 Survival Games House. I purposely made it kind of not inviting because I wanted to give it kind of a negative, unhappy feel to it. Because, you know, seven people are just going to die. It's not that big of a deal. But I also put a big fence around the property so Sims can't get out. Now I'll show you the inside. We'll start over in the gym. So there's treadmills, elliptical, whatever you want to call it. Um, equipment. So if your sim wants to work out, they can. Next is the kitchen, which is going to be locked for the majority of the season. So both this door and this door will be locked. The dining room. There's also a couch in here if the bed has already been taken, so Sims can still get a little bit of extra sleep. And this is the living room. There's bookcases for Sims that want to read, television, uh, fireplace. And the study where there's more bookcases. There's an art easel for the more creative Sims. And a computer. The bedroom, which only features one bed, so Sims are going to have to fight over who gets the bed. And there's also men's and women's bathrooms. In the backyard we have a swimming pool. So that will probably be for the swimming challenge or drowning challenge, whichever you prefer to call it. And we also have a cow plant. Now this gate will be locked until the cow plant has the cake out where it lures its victim. So someone will hopefully die from cow plant this season. And that's the house. I hope you've been stratified. Like and subscribe, and the next episode will be coming soon.